there! Welcome to this Power Automate tutorial where we'll look at two examples of how to create a flow from scratch. A quick note before we begin, this video is actually part of a more comprehensive beginner's course that you can access by clicking the pop-up here in the top right-hand corner. To initiate this endeavor, click on Create. We'll begin by an automated cloud flow considering its initiation upon a data change. You can bypass the wizard for now and move ahead. Remember that all flows have a triggering element. Triggers are the directives that set your flow into action. In your previous flow, you employed a scheduled trigger. Now, let's introduce a SharePoint trigger, specifically when an item is created. This selection allows you to choose the relevant site address and list. For instance, you might opt for the student demo site and select the student details as your list. Upon configuring the trigger, you'll specify an action to be executed upon its activation, such as sending an email. Adding an action entails selecting an appropriate option from the available connectors. In this scenario, you might choose Outlook and proceed with Office 365 Outlook. Utilizing the search function, locate the send an email action and proceed to customize the particulars. This entails designating the recipient, crafting a subject and integrating dynamic content where applicable. With the essence of your second flow in place, provide it with an identifiable title. Afterward, saving your work is as straightforward as clicking on the Save option on the right. This concludes the creation of your second flow. Bear in mind that the potential for your flows is expansive. You can integrate diverse actions, connect with a range of data sources and connectors, establish branching structures, and introduce various conditions. As you delve deeper into flow creation, you'll get an array of valuable insights and techniques. This foundational understanding underscores the concept that all flows initiate with a trigger and can involve one or more subsequent actions. With your flows established, you've effectively initiated their execution, signifying the commencement of automation within your operations. As you progress, you'll further explore the intricacies of flows and their applications, continually enhancing your capacity to streamline and automate your business processes. Congratulations, your first two flows have been successfully created from templates. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a powerful flow in Power Automate that can efficiently manage your incoming emails. By setting up this automated flow, you'll save valuable time and ensure your email attachments are seamlessly organized. All right, let's jump right in. For the first step, we need to specify the SharePoint site and library. We can get to SharePoint via the app launcher. Go ahead and choose any SharePoint site and library that you prefer. For demonstration purposes, I'll choose the student demo site and then I'll use the default documents library. Next, we'll choose the trigger event. Make sure to be signed into Power Automate. A quick way to do this is to simply go to make.powerautomate.com. Once you're logged into Power Automate, navigate to My Flows. Click on New Flow and select Automated Cloud Flow. I'm going to name my flow Email Attachments. Now let's choose the trigger event. Type in Outlook in the search bar and select When a new email arrives, V3. Now click on Create. Awesome! Now make sure to expand the Show Advanced Options. Next, let's configure the advanced settings to set up the conditions that will trigger your flow. I'm going to specify the sender's email as no-reply at technewbie.com. I'll then enable Include Attachments and set the subject filter as Daily Feedback. Also, enable Only with Attachments. Time to define our action. Add a new step and search for SharePoint. Choose the Create File action. Now let's configure the action. We have to set the site address. In our drop-down list, we see the student demo site. I'll go ahead and choose that. Note, however, that sometimes it can happen your site may not appear in this list. If that happens, you can add a custom value. You will need to go to your SharePoint list and copy the path to the end of your site name, as I'm doing now. Then in our custom value, we paste the site address. Now choose folder path as slash shared documents and for file name, 
Select Attachments Name from Dynamic Content. Once the attachments name is added, the Create File action is automatically added in and apply to each. This will take care of scenarios when an email comes in with multiple attachments. For file content, choose Attachments Content. And there you have it. Let's see this in action. I'll go to my Gmail, send an email titled Daily Feedback, and send it to my Outlook account attached to this flow. SharePoint may not show the file straight away, so I'll refresh it. And boom, there you have it. Congratulations to us. We've just created a dynamic Power Automate flow that efficiently manages our incoming emails, saving us time and keeping your attachments organized. By mastering this exercise, you are well on your way to becoming proficient in automating various tasks using Power Automate. This skill will greatly enhance your productivity and streamline your daily workflows. Keep exploring and keep going with the rest of this course. If you found this helpful, do give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. This will really help this channel grow.